short video. Excuse the uh, noise in the background. It's it's like here in the shop, but uh, got this long piece of aluminum, okay? And it's an extrusion. It's hollow. And I've got to put these two pockets in it. Machine these two pockets, all right? The problem is this is where I have to pick up from. And my machine only travels to about there. So how do I find that edge? Well, I made up this bar years ago. It's just a piece of cold roll that I ground down to 24 inches, all right? And it's, you know, on any given day, plus or minus one, all right? I've checked it with the uh, CMF, gauge blocks. It is what it is. But the, what we're doing here is eminently usable. But uh, I've got these two guides on it to keep it straight. Now, normally, to do this, I would just put a magnet on the end and bump it up against that. But it's aluminum, all right? So how are we going to get around that? Well, first we're going to take our bar and slide it up close here. Now, I could get this really close uh, by just holding a parallel on the end. Believe it or not, when my indicator, not my indicator, my edge finder comes out, it does want to push it a little bit. So uh, let me show you what I did. I'm going to have to shut the camera off and show you uh, how I rigged up a stop. All right, so what you can see I did here was I just took a small grinding vise, pushed it up against the end of the part, and tightened it. That lets me put my 24-inch my block right up against that. It gives me my edge. And then when I put my hammer uh, or hammer edge finder 3D probe on here, nothing moves, all right? So that's the setup right there. Comes in really handy. And I was really glad I took the time to put these holes in it to put these uh, guides on it. Hold on a minute. Okay, just these little guides, rails, to keep this on here straight. I actually have a third one uh, that I can use sometimes uh, for the end, also. That wouldn't work here because the indicator was pushing it out of the way. So there you have it. 